Alamogordo. It's time for Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. A mid to upper level ridge is forecast to continue to stretch from off the California coast, east southeastward across California, the Great Basin, and the desert southwest over the next few days. This is going to keep the early fall heat wave going for much of California into the desert southwest through the remainder of the week with widespread moderate to major heat risk impacts along with potential for widespread record high temperatures. Temperatures are expected to be 10 to 20 degrees above average. Across the northern tier of the lower 48 from the northern plains into the upper Mississippi Valley, the weekend weather warm temperatures have been replaced by cooler temperatures in the wake of a strong cold front that's moved out of the northern plains into the upper to mid Mississippi Valley and southward into the central and southern plains. Closer to home, High pressure aloft will remain over the area through the weekend and into the beginning of the next week. Dry to warm conditions will continue into next week. Temperatures are going to remain quite warm and above average. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. In the over three months since the South Fork and Salt Fires devastated the Redoso area and near $30 million in damages, the community has also faced flood after flood. FEMA officials have announced how they've helped some fire and flooding victims, but There are residents who say they've been trying to get help, but having trouble getting that help. Many have applied for flood insurance after FEMA mentioned an exception with the National Flooding Insurance Program could expedite the process. Normally, when you buy a brand new flood insurance policy, there is a 30-day waiting period. If you are in a post-wildfire situation like we are in Ridoso, that 30-day can change to one day. Roberto Ramirez, a director of FEMA's Hazard Mitigation Branch, speaking with KOB. In Lincoln County, there is only 252 policies. So that's the entire county. So there is a lot of people that don't have flood insurance. So right now we only have 73 claims since the disaster was declared. If you receive a letter of denial, it can be appealed. The Alamogordo Public Library Book Club meets this Saturday from 1 to 3. Join in for a lively and compelling discussion of books and topics. Call the reference desk at 575-439-4148 to learn more. The Alamogordo Night Out is coming up on October 5th from 4 until 8 at Washington Park. We heard from Stephanie Hale of Thrive in Southern New Mexico. There will be live music, food trucks, and many other community partners available to provide information of what's going on around Alamogordo. Squad up with your heroes at the Alamogordo's Night Out, hosted by the Alamogordo Police Department and sponsored by Thrive in Southern New Mexico, on October 5th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. right here in Washington Park in Alamogordo. If you have any questions, please call 575-439-4304. The Chaparral Community Organization presents the Burger Cook-Off happening Saturday, October 5th in Chaparral. We spoke with Ray Vasquez. This is our first burger cook-off. What we, not, we want to do is uh, let's see who makes the best burger. We are inviting the, the public and whoever has a food truck. Come out and see if they can win that $250 first prize. If you have any questions, it's 915-219-0418. Join the Lincoln Trestle Planting Project happening on Saturday, October 5th, to help restore trees lost to dwarf mistletoe. Volunteers will plant genetically resistant southwestern white pines at the Trestle Recreation Center. The event runs from 9 a.m. until 3.30, and Smokey Bear will be on site with fire safety tips. Check out the Lincoln National Forest Facebook page for details. The U.S. Veterans Motorcycle Club proudly presents Bike Night in Alamogordo. Raffles and food will be on hand. Again, that's this Saturday from 6 until 10 at the VFW. Live music by Molly's Chamber. You're invited to meet and greet with Congressman Gabe Vasquez on October 14th from 11 till 2 at the Mescalero Tribal Offices parking lot. There's going to be a voter registration drive as well as free hot dogs and burgers. You're cordially invited to attend the Wingfield Heritage House Museum ribbon cutting and open house celebration happening on Thursday, October 17th at 2813 Southern Drive in Redoso. The ribbon cuttings at noon, open house at 2, live music, food, and drinks at 4. ZUBU 2024 is happening on Saturday, October 26th from 9 until noon at the Alameda Park Zoo. Candy trail and costume contest. Best of all, the event is free. The Tularosa Arts and History Council are proud to present the Halloween on Granado Street event happening Saturday, October 26th from 5 until 8. Trunk or Treat Alley, live music, games, 
Pet Parade, and a whole lot more. Try Tularosa.org or 505-350-4531 for details. The Alamogordo Public Library has a Halloween event planned for Saturday, October 26th from 1 until 4. Arts and crafts as well as snacks. This Halloween, don't just carve pumpkins, carve your path to success. We're nearing that time of year when we have to think about those less fortunate and why organizations like Santa in the Basin exists to ensure that kids have something to open on Christmas, regardless of how their parents may be struggling. I grew up there in Tula Rosa. We didn't have a whole lot. And the highlight of our Christmas is going to the fire station to see Santa and get a, a bag with the apple, orange, nuts, and candy. So I know the struggle. I know it's real. And I know that nowadays the kids don't take it so well as you know, not being able to have Christmas. Mary Barunda speaking with Crazy Radio. And I want everybody to know that this is not just for Tula Rosa, okay? It's for the Basin area, for Otero County. If you guys have a need, if you need help for Christmas, please come see us because we're going to help you. The event date and time will be shared soon. See the Santa in the Basin Facebook page for details. In the meantime, she needs donations to get things started for the fourth year. Call 520-508-2196 for info. News from around the state in just a moment. This is Alamo Gordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. Local news from local perspectives, from local voices. AlamoGordoTownNews.org. Local sports, local events, and local happenings and more. Nonprofit owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. AlamoGordoTownNews.org. Heard daily on Crazy KALH Radio 95.1. Directory Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a phone book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side, Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. The New Mexico State University Police Department is investigating a sexual assault which occurred at Pinyon Hall over the weekend at a party. The suspect has not been publicly identified but has been described as a five foot seven black male in his late teens or early 20s. A judge sentenced a man who pled guilty to an incident where he struck two police officers trying to detain him. The officers responded on December 13th of 2023 to a call about a person with a weapon. They arrived and tried to detain Jesus Carrera, whom people at the scene identified as the suspect. Prosecutors say Carrera then struck one of the officers in the face and then struck another in the lower right part of his chin. Eventually, police did take him into custody. On July 23rd, Carrera pled guilty to aggravated battery on a police officer and battery on a police officer. A judge sentenced him to 11 years behind bars and designated it as a serious violent offense, meaning he's going to have to serve at least 85% of his sentence before he's eligible for parole. The armorer on the set of Rust will not get a new trial after her guilty verdict. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed requested a new trial over withheld evidence from the prosecution. But the judge wrote in her opinion that it would not have changed the trial's outcome. Gutierrez Reed is serving an 18-month sentence for involuntary manslaughter after Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed by a gun, loaded with a real bullet, and fired by Alec Baldwin. Baldwin was also charged, but his case was dismissed after the prosecutors were accused of withholding evidence in his case. The Battalion Search and Rescue Organization put out a news release on Monday claiming local authorities like the Donna Anna County Sheriff's Office and the Office of Medical Investigators are not visiting some of the sites that the group of volunteers have discovered to investigate human remains found in the desert. Donna Anna County Sheriff Kim Stewart said, There's a massive issue in Donna Anna County with a significant growth of human remains being found in recent years, but those allegations against her department not investigating are not accurate. Volunteers for the nonprofit group have stated that they have reported coordinates and crossroads to the sheriff, but they don't appear to be even visiting and processing some of the reported sites. How would you know? Why, how could you even make that allegation that we're not there? There are plenty of things we do every, every minute of every day that people are unaware of. Sheriff Kim Stewart speaking with KFOX. Sometimes we will not go on mere coordinates. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait a minute. Play that again. Sometimes we will not go on mere coordinates. Um, didn't she just admit that they're not going? Válgame Dios. So according to Stewart, no, the Donna Anna County Sheriff's Office is not going to all reported sites as discovered by the BRSO. Incidentally, up to 2022, deaths in the desert were between 8 and 10. In 2023, that number jumped to nearly 100. 
This year, we're at 87 with three months remaining. Sports and weather are next. This is Alan McGordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, it just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. News broke yesterday that baseball's hit king, Pete Rose, has died at the age of 83 at his home in Las Vegas. Affectionately known as Charlie Hustle, Rose accumulated 4,256 hits over a career which spanned 24 seasons. He was banned from the sport and the Baseball Hall of Fame after it was determined he was betting on games. Following his participation in multiple WrestleManias, which always ended up with Rose being dropped onto his head, That's Pete Rose! That's Pete Rose! Pete Rose just got tombstone! He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2004. Pete Rose, dead at 83. There are 41 matches for New Mexico Volleyball today, including the Institute at Hondo, Dexter at Capitan, Hatch at Chaparral, Hot Springs comes to Tularosa, Go Lady Cats, and Carlsbad at Alamogordo, Go Lady Tigers! Your crazy radio spot on weather forecast for the Tularosa Basin today calls for sunny skies, mostly clear tonight, sunny tomorrow, high today of 88, low tonight 57, high tomorrow 85 degrees. In Cloudcroft, sunny skies, winds gusting as high as 20 miles per hour today. Mostly clear tonight, winds gusting as high as 14, sunny tomorrow. Your high today in Cloudcroft, 65, low tonight of 40, high tomorrow, 64 degrees. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.org, and you can learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting kalhradio.org. Also, check out the Crazy KALH Radio YouTube channel. That's where we post our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. That way you too can remain informed of the goings-on in the Tularosa Basin. Well, that concludes today's edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero.